Let's take a look at this example. Let me remind you that at the left side we have non-inverting input and at the right side we have inverting input. We're supposed to find the following quantities. We're supposed to find IC, Q, VC, EQ, Z in and V out. In order to find ICQ, I have to find the voltage across this resistor first. In order to find the voltage across this resistor, I have to find VE. Let me remind you that VE is equal to VE1 and this is equal VE2 and this is equal negative VBE which is equal negative 0.7 volts. If you don't understand what I'm doing right now, you're supposed to watch the previous videos. Also, we're supposed to write that VRE which is equal to VR3 is equal VE minus VEE which is equal negative 0.7 volts minus negative 18 volts. So VRE is equal to 17.3 volts. Next, I can find the current which goes through resistor R3. So I can say that this is my IRE or also I can call it IR3 or this is also called I tail is equal nothing else just VRE divided by R3. Okay, so this is equal 17.3 volts over 62 kilo ohms. So I'm going to write that my IRE is equal to 17.3 divided by 62 exponent 3 equals 200 79.03 microamps. Okay, so this is the current which will go through resistor R3. It could be called IR3, I tail, or IRE. You're supposed to get used to, to these uh, names. Okay, so you're supposed to find right now the current which will go through the emitter of transistor Q1 and through the emitter of transistor Q2. You have to remember that IE is equal to IE1 and this is also equal to IE2 where anytime I say IE I mean IE1 or IE2. Why I say either or because they are going to have exactly the same value. So this is nothing else just half of my IRE. Okay, so I have 279.03 microamps divided by 2 is equal 279.03 exponent 6 negative divided by 2 is equal 1 39.51 microamps. Okay, so this is the value of current which will go through this connection and this connection. So this is my IE1 and this is my IE2. You're supposed to realize that the value of the base current, right, uh, DC base current, I'm going to simply ignore that value because it's, it's kind of low comparing with IC and IE. And I'm going to simply write that IC1 is equal to approximately IE1. And this is equal to 139.51 microamps. And also I'm going to write that IC2 is approximately equal 
to i e2 and this is equal 139.51 microamps. Keep in mind that anytime I say I see, I mean this is also I C Q and this is also I C1 and this is I C2. Next we have to find V C E Q. We found I C Q. In order to find V C E Q, I supposed to find V C first. So simply write the formula V C is equal VCC minus IC times RC, where VCC in our case is equal 18 volts and RC is equal 39 kilo ohms. So I simply write 18 volts minus IC 1 39 point 51 microamps times RC which is equal 39 kilo ohms. This is equal I have 18 minus 139.51 exponent 6 negative times 39 exponent 3. This is equal 12 point 55 volts okay so this is voltage at the collector okay collector of transistor q1 and the voltage at the collector of transistor q2 i mean voltage between the collector and base collector and base so, VCE. VCE is equal to VCEQ, which is equal VC minus VE, where VC is equal 12.55 volts minus VE, we found this is equal negative 0.7 volts. This is equal... 13.25 volts. So this is my VCEQ. We found VCEQ. Next we're supposed to find the input impedance at the inverting input. Okay, the formula says Z in is equal two times beta AC times small re. But please keep in mind that we didn't find small re yet. Okay, this is my AC emitter resistance. So I can simply write that this is equal to times beta AC times small re is equal 26 millivolts over IE. Okay, so this is equal 2 times beta AC. Again, my problem is not specifying if this is DC or AC. That's why I assume that beta AC is equal to beta DC. I'm going to write over here 250 times 26 millivolts over IE. And IE is equal 139 point 51 microamps so z in is equal 2 times 250 times open parenthesis 26 exponent 3 negative divided by 139.51 exponent 6 negative close parenthesis equals 93.18 kilo ohms 93.18 kilo ohms this is my 
input impedance at the inverting input. Okay, next I suppose to find the output voltage. Keep in mind that we have a formula which says differential gain is equal V out over the differential input voltage. Okay, this is nothing else, just V out over voltage at non-inverting input minus voltage at inverting input. Okay, so we can write that this is V out, okay, because I'm looking for output voltage V out is equal the differential gain times the differential input voltage. Voltage at the non-inverting input minus voltage at inverting input. So I can write that my V out, the gain of the differential amplifier, okay, differential amplifier which has single input and balance output, so the formula for it is RC over small re times the differential input voltage. Okay, so this is my V at non-inverting input minus voltage at inverting input. Okay, so this is nothing else, just RC, and in our case RC is equal 39 kilo ohms. So I have 39 kilo ohms divided by small re. We didn't find small re, but we can find it very quick. This is 26 millivolts divided by 139.51 microamps. This is 26 exponent 3 negative divided by 139.51 exponent 6 negative. This is equal 186.36 186.36 ohms times the differential input voltage. Voltage at the non-inverting input is equal to 0 volts. And voltage at inverting input is equal to 3 millivolts. I'm going to write minus 3 millivolts millivolts. What I mean by that? Okay, non-inverting input is connected to the ground. Inverting input is receiving 3 millivolts peak, okay? So the differential voltage is 0 minus 3 millivolts peak. Okay, so I'm going to use the calculator and simply calculate. We have 39 exponent 3 divided by 186.36 times negative 3 exponent 3 negative. This is equal negative 627.81 millivolts. Okay, we got negative sign. It means that the input voltage is going to to be out of phase comparing with the output voltage 180 degrees. Okay, so if you are going to speak a little bit different way, output voltage is out of phase 180 degrees comparing with the input voltage. So we can say that the problem is solved.